Hello and welcome to the Foster Family Adventures where this week we are at Animal Zone at Rod Baston. I haven't been here for a while. Last time we were here, Zach was uh, one of his birthday parties, he was like six or seven or something. Anyway, it's uh, six pounds for an adult, free for children under three, free to 16 is five pound, concessions five pound. First stop, the reptile house. Where is it? Oh. Where? Yeah. Oh, a little frog, a little poisonous frog. They reckon frogs are the I'm sure there's a frog that's the most poisonous thing in the world. Can you see it on this little log? There he is. What kind of frog is it? Where's the description? Have you seen it in there? Well, it's gone now. I looked away for a second. Where's it gone? There it is. Oh, he's coming up for a close up. Maranon poison frog from Peru. It's endangered. It's in this one, Josh. Yeah. Oh, what's this side? What's this side? Oh, a lizard. That is a big lizard. It's a Mexican bearded lizard. Where's his beard? Oh, look, that's cool, isn't it? A tree boa. That's quite small, isn't it? Does they get bigger than that? Emerald tree boa, pretty cool. And there's a green tree python. And a green tree python in here. Looks exactly the same. It's down here. Oh, spiny tailed monitor lizard. Sweet. All of them live for about 15 years, 10 to 15 years. That's from Australia. What we got over here then, Grandma? What is that? See? That looks like a dinosaur. Red. Oh, it's a red tegu. Oh, chameleon. Yeah. Fifteen to twenty years old, lives in Western Argentina, Bolivia, and Paraguay. Nice. That is a big lizard. If you saw that, if you went on holiday and saw that in Argentina, you would not be happy, would you? I can see it. I know, yeah, it's all like um, ribbed. Look if you can find the chameleon in here. Grandma, can you tell me what that is? No. <laughs> Saharan Orum Astix. Can't see the Orum Astix, where is he? He's hiding. Sudan plated lizard. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, I didn't see him. He looks. He, he looks like a proper dinosaur with his spiky tail. Big snake. What have we got in here, Josh? Big snake. What kind of snake is it? A jungle carpet python. Oh yeah. He'll eat you up. He will. Come on down, isn't he? Well, most reptiles only live for like 15 to 20 years. He's from Australia too. Check out the black breasted leaf turtle from Asia. I love turtles. He looks wicked. Ooh, marine toad. Amanda is totally scared of a toad, so I'm gonna to film this toad. So if she watches it, she freaks out. Last time she saw a toad, it was a holly bush, and she absolutely jumped a mile. Check out the Argus monitor lizard. Looks like he's shedding his skin. It's enormous. Where do you, where's an Argus lizard from? Let's have a look. Oh, from Australia again. Here, Least concern, so that's good. That's what their head looks like. Guinea pig is even bigger than our fat guinea pigs. Piggy! Piggy, 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 piggy. He's a peony. He's a big guinea pig, he is. A whole host of piggies. Piggy, 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 piggy. What are they doing? Eating as usual. 
They only eat, sleep or poo, that's all guinea pigs do. Man would love to have this big pen though, wouldn't she? He's, he's in isolation because he's a naughty pig. Perhaps he's like bullying the others. Monkey! Monkey! Cotton topped what? Tamarind or something? Tamarind, yeah. yeah. My a cool looking monkeys. Oh, I spotted it straight away. Scratching his butt. I Marmoset. Jeffrey Marmoset. Jeffrey Marmoset. Have you read that right? Yeah. You sure it's a Jeffrey? Yeah. Huh? Let me read this. I don't believe it's called a Jeffrey. It's a Jeffrey. Oh, it is a Jeffrey. I'll take it back. Oh, it's come all the way from lowland rainforest areas in Brazil. No, there isn't. No way is there a crocodile. That's a look. It's a caiman, which is kind of like a crocodile. Oh, another one. There's another caiman in the water. Yeah. And there's two toys, toys. There are more than two toys. This is a um, Covier's Dwarf Cayman. And yellow-bellied slider. It's not big as a crocodile. And it's from South America. And These live for approximately 60 years, apparently. They could just stay so still, can't they? We're in their nocturnal house. Can't read the sign because it's in too dark in here. What is it? It's not. It's not a possum, is it? It's a night fox. A night fox. What is it, Josh? Asian palm civet. All right. Hello, the Asian palm civet. He's gone now. Just about to see a coati from South. Oh, wait, there's one down here from South America. Where's it gone? Zoomed in. Difficult one, I'm zoomed in. Where is he? There he is. Never seen a coyote before, but. Look pretty cool. This one's been having a good, right good scratch for a couple of minutes. I hope he's got fleas. He's his head all over the thing. Oh, check this guy out. Fly River Turtle. Yeah. Come on. They're all staring at you, there's brown, they don't like it. Oh, I don't even want to eat him. Stick your finger in. Look at that! Where are the piranhas? You ever seen the horror movie Piranhas? What? You ever seen the horror movie Piranha? Yeah, yeah. Where's your teeth then? Show's your teeth. Here's a smile. They're not actually bad looking fish, are they piranhas? No, but I want to see them, but I can't. I want to see them. Oh, what's that fish? The first thing I look at is that fish. Mirror, it's your child. <laughs> <laughs> what? 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 I don't know where he is, but he's covered his home in web. Oh, Another one here. Painted tarantula. Oh, check out these otters. These are awesome. I love otters. They look so f so cute and friendly. But they're not. No, they'd have your finger probably. Hello. What are you looking at? I'm going to have a sleep. Well, they definitely know it's feeding time, don't they? Oh, boy. Sound a bit like guinea pigs. A little bit, yeah. <laughs> they look starved, don't they? Oh, yeah. It's been a couple of hours since they last got fed. <laughs> Come on, then, boys. Is that what they eat, is it? So they eat a mixture of food. So these are our two Asian sugar claw dotters. Yeah. Uh, the names are Bubble and Squeak, and they are brothers. Uh, so they eat a variety of foods. So they get fish, 
They get live food, so they get uh, Mario worms, crickets, mealworms, locusts, stuff like that. Right. Um, they get rodents or chicks. Um, but just like any carnivore, we have to buy them in frozen and defrost them when we need them. Um, How did they end up here then? If they're obviously not from round here, are they? So, no. so these guys were kept at a um, establishment down in Cornwall, yeah. but due to COVID, um, they had to close. So we've ended up taking these guys on instead. So are all the animals here are they rescues or what? Um, not all of them, no. So. Um, our lemurs, our ringtail lemurs, they're a bachelor group from Dudley Zoo. Right. Um, so they came to us. Uh, the brown one who's in there with them, JJ, he's a red fronted lemur. He's from Chester. So basically, they were just on a surplus list. Um, so all all zoo establishments, you'll have your list of animals that you've got. Yeah. Um, but then you'll have, say, you wanted to move a couple of chickens on, you could put them on, and then someone might go, okay. If I give you, if you, I have your chickens, could I trade you for this mm. animal? And you kind of swap between establishments, if that makes sense. So, would these bite you if you went in there? Uh, they do occasionally take a nip. Um, so, these guys, we don't tend to let people in with them. Um, it's staff only. Yeah. Mainly because these guys are category one species. And that includes your animals like your lions, your tigers. Oh yeah, so, I bet they've got some teeth on them actually, haven't yeah. they? Yeah. Um, they're very sharp. And they've got a good strength on them as well. So when they do bite, they don't tend to like to let go. So we don't tend to let them get that close. <laughs> yeah. Um, They're cute looking. Though. They are very cute looking. Um, but, What's the difference between these and our otters then? Uh, just different species. All right. They're no bigger or smaller or um, whatever. Ours would be a little bit bigger. So these are one of the smaller species of otter. There's about 13 species of otter around the world. Yeah. Um, these are one of the smallest. The emus and the wallabies are having a face off. Fancy the emus to be honest. Quite big. Flaming emus coming around on our patch of grass again. Hello. Hello. It's like a kangaroo, Josh, close enough. Got any food, mister? No. Little donkey, little donkey, eating the grass. Bite him, bite him, donkey. He looks like you're picking his nose. Yeah, he's tickling his nose. What are you doing? Come on, Grandma. Oh. And now the, the best part of the tour. Little goats! Hello little goaty. <laughs> Don't know if I can reach you to give you a stroke mate. No. Oh. Can I? No. <laughs> goats are awesome. One day I'm gonna have a goat. Might have a donkey too. Maybe I'll have two goats and a donkey. What do you reckon? Amanda won't let me have a goat. What? She's mean. Hey, up, there's a brawl. We're having a scrap. Now he's trying to. Oh. Play nicely. He's a bully, that one, isn't he? It's getting heated in the goat. In the goat paddock. Look at that. Running jump at it as well. That ginger one's quite a bit bigger though, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> Vicious he is. Jesus. Oh, there's four of them getting involved now. Proper rook now. Small goat syndrome. Wonder if that's serious or whether they're just playing. 